point, I just picked up this log from the pine stack that the tree service leaves. It's just a stack, it's not a pine stack, it's a stack of logs. All right, I'm gonna try to do another little bear head. I messed up on one earlier. Right here. I messed this guy up, cut too far into the nose. I could maybe repair it, but <clears throat> this had a dip in the side, so I just decided to stop this one and I'll keep it as a reminder for myself what not to do. It was getting there, but all right. So let's get started. We'll try a new bear head. Right, gotta dremel in this guy's nose, his mouth, some eyes, on his ears a tiny bit, and we'll do some furring. It's getting close. Using the flap sander now on the angle grinder. It's just too small. I'm trying to get the chainsaw just kind of overcut too much, so I don't want to do that. It's hard for me to, to focus on where to put his eyes and different things because there's a knot right there. Kind of looks like an eye messing me up. That's not his eye, that's a knot. His eyes are going to be like right next to his snout, his muzzle, whatever you want to call it. I have this one bit that's concave there. I'm going to use that to 
do a little round eye on the Dremel. Another bear getting close to being done. Sand them up. It's ready for paint. Brush through his nose. All right, this is my second bear um, bust, I should say, bear head carving. I got a new cool thing I just thought of. Instead of having disposable brushes that I kind of throw away, or little art brushes to do like nose and get inside of the mouth and things like that, I found something much cheaper. Pretty cool. So I got 500 for however much these cost, 500 throwaway brushes. I'm gonna try it out right now. I need to touch up around his nose a little bit. Just cheap spray paint. There we go. I need to touch up inside his nose. It didn't quite get covered. I thought it was good the other day, but it's not. And that works. If that works, I'm going to throw it away anyway and got two sides. Not bad. Check it out. All right, so that's my bear is finished. I oiled them up. I actually set them in a bucket. I set them down in a five gallon bucket with a little vegetable oil inside. About this much. And it soaked almost all of it up. So it'll prevent it from cracking on the bottom. I've already rubbed some and while I was sitting in the bucket I soaked his nose and stuff and then I'm going to just cover the whole thing one more time. I did do the little dots of white on his eyes to give him that shine look like a reflection. Anyway, check it out and uh, I'm going to keep doing more. I'm, I'm get, trying to do bigger and bigger bears. I'm kind of trying to do my best to make them look realistic. I don't like the cartoonish ones. Anyway, that's my goal. I like to make things as realistic as I can. So, um, Subscribe, tell your friends, check it out. Thanks for watching.